Brexit. Irish PM launches sensational attack on Frost for undermining EU deal. Irish Taoiseach Michal Martin has launched a sensational attack on former chief Brexit negotiator Lord Frost for undermining the withdrawal negotiations. Speaking on Tuesday evening, at a meeting of the Queen's University Belfast Chief Executives Club. Mr Martin complained that previous genuine attempts by the EU to make progress on outstanding issues in relation to the protocol were undermined by Lord Frost. Mr Martin said, Maro Sefcovic, made a very genuine effort and came forward with proposals. I felt Lord Frost at the time probably unfortunately came in on the eve of that to try to, in my view, negatively undermine what was a genuine effort to move forward. Mr Frost's actions narrowed the scope of unionist leaders to respond in a more generous way which led to a missed opportunity, Mr Martin said. Rees Mogg blames post-Brexit red tape for fishermen woes. Jacob Rees-Mogg insisted the checks the European Union imposed on British exports following Brexit were at the heart of the issues many British fishermen are facing. Jacob Rees-Mogg conceded the European Union had made amelioration to its regulation in the year since the UK officially left the bloc but insisted more could be done. The Brexit Opportunity Minister suggested the initial difficulties for British fishermen were the result of Brussels seeking to voice its upset at the UK leaving but he insisted the desire for bloc members to buy British caught fish will ultimately result in further changes to the export checks. Speaking to LBC, Mr Rees Mogg said, they have made some amelioration to their rules since we finally left because they actually want to buy these goods. It becomes market forces that determine what the level of regulation becomes. But initially, we have to remember, the EU was very cross that we left, and they wanted to make life as difficult as possible. GB News, Farage blasts EU hypocrisy over Ukraine aid, thank goodness we've left. Nigel Farage has blasted EU hypocrisy over Ukraine as he laid bare the bloc is spending more importing Russian energy than it is sending aid to Ukraine. The former UKIP leader said Brussels had spent $35 billion, £27 billion, importing oil, gas and coal from Moscow while only sending $1 billion, £765 million, in aid to Kyiv, leading the former Brexit party leader to proclaim, thank goodness we've left. Mr Farage also argued that Brexit Britain, freed from EU foreign policy has now taken the lead on sending aid to Ukraine.